Welcome back to the 12 Days of Gormus, as we dive into 12 of my picks for disturbing, not safe for life topics. Previously, we discussed the tragic story of Rena Palankova and the trend of people posting goodbye selfies in videos before taking their own lives, as well as the mythical Blue Whale game, which is allegedly responsible for guiding vulnerable people, including teens, into self harm and inevitably suicide. As we continue our deep dive, I first turn to the most popular surface web fact checker, Snopes. Staying some bias that some hold for Snopes, the site is overall pretty useful for quick debunking. When I previously explored the topic of the Blue Whale game, I recall running into the hard conclusion of it being a myth, and much of that is still true, however, Snopes gave a rather alarming conclusion. Unconfirmed. Now, while I do believe what I initially stated to be true, that there is no game, app, or whatever. But what if the game did exist, but in the form of a small group of word of mouth on VK, the Russian social media site? The reason the story broke the way it did back in 2017 was because of rash misinformed media outlets misinterpreting the statements of victims' families and grazing the upturned trend in suicides in Russia for a six-month period. The Novaya Gazeta reported that, quote, at least 80 suicides were linked to these blue whale games, but an investigation by Radio for Europe found that no suicides have been definitely linked to these online communities or supposed games. The initial report from the Novaya Gazeta was highly criticized at the time of its publication as well. Their conclusion that a social media game was causing teenagers to commit suicide was because several teenagers from the same social media group had taken their own lives. It's a bit of a ridiculous reach given the lack of actual evidence to point this out. However, it makes sense that depressed, vulnerable teenagers are simply drawn to the same social media groups, not that the groups were causing them to commit suicide directly. Much of this can be observed in parts of Twitter that certain content creators are afraid to talk about, like self-harm Twitter or eating disorder Twitter, where the glorification of these acts are rampant. Tumblr suffered a big plague of this as well, and I'm not sure of the status of how they handle that now. But in a way, every sort of social media, even YouTube, has its own pockets where people worship this kind of shit. People will post media of themselves self-harming and sometimes worse. This shocking subculture of the internet is also nothing new either, but it does need to be discussed more. And I would agree with the conclusion that the game isn't something like an app or website you sign up for, as some media outlets proclaim. I also agree with the conclusion that, simply put, people with common issues and interests will flock to the same places online. But given the hazy dialogue around the topic, especially from media, it's hard to say where and how the game came to be in terms of it being discussed. Aside from old news media, there's no evidence of the game existing otherwise. And at this point, you may be asking how this ties into Gleb Korolev and the 1444 video. On October 17th of 2019, Russian VK user Gleb Koroblev launched a live stream. During the broadcast, he took out a Sega 12 semi-automatic shotgun, pointed it to his head. He then said, in Russian, Nikita, if you will quickly tell our parents, or two parents, I will take you out from the grave, I know you have their phone number, and then shot himself. But just before he pulls the trigger, he says something. Nya, Paka! Nya Poka. Often misinterpreted as Nya Baka or Nya Bai. It does translate roughly to Nya Bai, but why would Gleb say this? It is because it was posted as the caption to Rina Palinkova's goodbye selfie. The internet regards this as a Russian suicide meme, which I find vile and confusing. But what really happened was that the trend, not the blue whale, were responsible for vulnerable teens taking their lives. Vulnerable teens were inspired by Rena, most of which also captioned something or said Nyapoka as well. This is what fueled the myth of the blue whale game, in my opinion, and how it became so widespread and believable. After all, if Rena were supposedly a victim of this game, and all copycats followed suit by mimicking her actions and words, it would make the misinformed or impatient draw the wrong conclusions. 
So why did Gleb Korablev take his own life? And why did he do it on live stream? Those are difficult questions, but the fact of the matter is, much like Rina Palenkova, we don't know a whole lot. Many fake stories emerge, much like the other victims of suicide, such as Gleb was dying of lung cancer and then he got dumped. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But the reality is, is that he was unwell and couldn't get help and took his own life, and that is what we know. The 1444 video went viral with a story pushed by a Spanish content creator and internet trolls that the video was cursed, and if you did not repost it or comment the time and date, you'd suffer the same fate. The reality of that is simply the 1444 name was probably a random dash of keys to name a file when it was initially saved. The rest is a creepypasta. Nevertheless, it has spread like wildfire and can even be found in troll videos here on YouTube. And of course, on TikTok. If you or a loved one are suffering from thoughts of suicide or self-harm, don't wait, please reach out to a loved one and dial 988. So, this will conclude this part of the 12 Days of Gormus, uh, this sad, miserable, miserable part, but I was pleasantly surprised at the amount of information I was able to bring to light with these two pieces and kind of connect the puzzle and hopefully put, like I said with Ronnie McNup, basically just end the chapter on these two people because it's over-talked about and over-exploited enough. And my first exposure to 1444 was actually via TikTok. Um, and I talked about Ronnie McNutt and uh, 1444 in my initial video, my old video, which is actually my most viewed video. Um, and there's still not much more information on the 1444. I mean, and it is what it is, as I said in this. I mean, it's pretty sad when people need to take something as raw and personal and sad as someone taking their own life and try to make a fucking, uh, what, what is that called? Like a fucking text chain message out of it. Like, oh, you better repost this horrific fucking video, this horrific graphic fucking video, or you're going to be cursed by a spooky ghost. Like, that's bullshit. What the fuck is that? Like, that's exploitation at its fucking finest. I hate shit like that. And that's what this became. It became a viral sensation. I have no real evidence or information on Gleb and his personal life. I mean, we can only make certain assumptions about it. And it's sad. And I, I keep saying it, that it's sad because it is. There's so many people that go through this shit. The fact that everything is some sort of misconstrued drama story really gets old. And that narrative gets old. And people carrying that na narrative and knowing better gets really fucking old. But... I think it's about time we close shop here on this uh, part of the 12 Days of Gormus. I'm happy you all got to join me. And if you're watching this early on Patreon, I want to give you an extra special thank you. And I love you. Thank you for supporting my content and supporting me where YouTube won't. As you may or may not know, I am not monetized. I don't make money off YouTube unless I get those lucky sponsorships. Or, of course, you join that sweet Patreon. With that Patreon, you get all eight tiers of the Ultimate Not Safe for Life Iceberg, with that bonus nine tier coming soon, as well as all my other releases that you won't see on YouTube, deleted videos, Discord access, merch, all that good shit. But more importantly, I hope everyone's having a great holiday season so far. I know I am, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.